Hello boys and girls and welcome along to Cairn Hill Cabin in County Cabin in Ireland and my name is Margaret McKenna. Well one of the suggestions I got the other day was, or the one I picked out of the jar I should say, was actually for a forest. So I decided to do this with a little background and then having a little, a little front bit here with bigger flowers in the foreground, so like slightly cartoony kind of flowers. The paper so just our piece of paper we're going to paint draw on and then we have a I have a strip of paper here so I'm going to do that separate so I'm going to put this aside for a moment and we're just going to work on the little bit for the very front at first so you can do if you cut a strip or even just do it on a big page and you can cut out the bit afterwards I just did the first little bit on a little bit of paper first so all I did was I just marked in where my flowers are going to be and my big flowers so just keeping it kind of nice and big and they're kind of like cartoony kind of flowers so just I'm not going to put too much detail yet just a space and we can put a, a stem and a, and a leaf here but I'm just doing it really light remember hold your pencil nice and light don't hold it too heavy we'll do the dark lines later on and we can do one or two little jaggedy bits like it's grass kind of as I say it's kind of cartoony grass and we'll do the round one here just makes a nice little decoration at the front and we can go to put couple of lines like that see I shall make them a bit heavier because I know I'm actually doing them light today for some reason I don't know what I do just now you make them nice and light I'll do them dark but you do them light okay and then it means that you'll be able to rub any of them out the leaves will be fine now actually a lot of the these will we will leave actually so we you can see that bit better okay and then we're going to come and do a tulip one here i have more ones than my original one which we will do whatever and it's that's sort of like a big u shape and we put two leaves going up like that maybe and we might put another roundy one on the end like that and we can just put little leaves out of it just do whatever way you want to do it little leaves you can put two leaves you can put three leaves and i'm going to put a few zigzaggy bits here now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to paint that first because then we can have that drying in the meantime. And, oh yeah, I meant to put a little circle. I'm going to put a circle in the middle of this one. And we, we won't do anything else on it, just uh, the drawing yet, okay? And um, we put the drawing in later on. Okay, so remember these are round and this one is sort of like a big U shape. And the leaves are just big, long, just big, long, that kind of shape. Look, just like that. Just like big, what would you call it? Leaf shapes, I suppose you just call it. Okay. Now, oh, don't forget, if you have any suggestions, please let me know. And put, I'll put them in the jar. And I'll pick one out at the end of the lesson. Um, I have a lot of suggestions there at the moment. So, now, so I'm going to start to paint that one because we can let that dry in the meantime, you see. So here we go. Just get a brush here. And I'm going to start with my, my green. And I'm just going to give it a light green in the background. If we put this aside then afterwards, you see. Just get the, we can put, actually, you know what? We can go over the whole lot with the green for now except for the flowers. So you see the way my I have a very watery green. Now this watercolour is very watery, this uh, poster paint I have. Some of them are more thicker, but this is a, the type I have now. It's, a bit, it's quite watery. Sometimes it means I might have to go back and do a, another coat. It's kind of handy when you just can go around all through the leaves and that. So we'll just go all the way through here. We can let that dry off. We'll see how we're doing the other one then. And we do this. And go down here, up here. Doesn't matter if you go into that space because we're going to cut them off anyway. So you don't have to be too exact. You can go over there. You can cut the whole, you can draw the paint the whole way up there because we're going to cut it off. Okay. And we're going to come down like, like that. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of a, a little bit of brown into my paint. So I've got a green paint and I'm going to add a tiny bit of brown into it. See there? I'm going to make it a little bit darker. So we get a little bit of brown with our green like that. So make it a little bit darker. And what I'm going to do then, I'm just going to paint the leaves that kind of, on the stem a bit darker there. Look. See? So it gives it a sort of darker, a darker shade on the, on the leaves and the stem like that yeah like that there now and then we're going to we can do a few little stripes bits going down through here as well we can do a few little bits it just gives it makes it look like this kind of 
and we can like it like this the grass is not all the same color and we'll go down all of these and we can do the stem and the leaves again like that and little flicky bits coming through the back look see little bits like that we could do them first actually it'd be better to do them first than do the, and then do the leaves i'll just put a bit more water on my brush don't put too much water on your brush it gets um very runny especially if i've got already runny paint like this so a bit of the brown into the green and I'm just going to flick it. Actually, we'll do the flicky bits first all the way along through the grass. Then we can go back into the leaves. Huh? So it's a bit of green into your brown like that. Oh, I hit that one there, that flower. And then we come back and we'll do the leaves there like that. Look, I'll show it up close then in a minute. I'll we'll put bits of yellow through the grass too. It'll be quite nice. So, so we've got a slightly deeper color on the grass, on the leaves. And now we're going to come back. Oh, we get a little bit of yellow as well. You can do. You can use. I'm using poster paints like these ones here. But you can use. Um, you can use crayons or anything to do this with. You just have to paint. And I'm going to flick. Look a few little bits of yellow through the grass. Look in the background. Just makes it nice and gives it a nice little color there like that. Nice and light. All the way through here. And all the way down there. There we go. So now we have our background colour done. And now I'm going to get some nice yellow again. Why don't we do the yellow on the brush? And I'm going to bring the yellow all into this flower here. So you can just bring it all the way across like that. And we're going to do a little yellow in the middle here. And I'm going to do yellow in this one. I'm going to make these into dandelions, these two. And this could be like a daisy. And that'll be a tulip. Although it'll be a very small tulip for now, I have to admit, because... It'll be, it'll be much bigger than the rest of the flowers, but we can pretend for this. Okay, so for the, for the, oh yeah, for the daisy, what I want to do, I'm going to put a little tiny bit of light blue in the middle. So get your light blue and even put a bit of white into the light blue. So I've got some light blue here, see? And I'm just going to put a little bit of white into it. And I want to do a little flick around the, now, watch this, you see? Or just around the middle of the flower. See the way I'm bringing it? Little flicks like that, and that'll give it a little shadow on it. Oh, we'll see when we do it properly. We'll see it at the end proper. Now I'm also going to get a color now for my for my for my tulip. So I think on my other one I had a nice red tulip. So we'll just go in with the red color for now. Just first of all, a red like that, all the way up there. now but i want to put a bit of shadow on it too and what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a little bit of blue a little bit of my dark blue this is the hardest bit this bit the rest is much easier a little bit of my dark blue and i'm going to mix it like that so we get a dark it's like a purpley color and we're just going to put a little bit on the bottom of the flower like that see and we put a little bit in the middle of the top like that so there you go see like that I would put the lines in there. We let that dry for a little while. So just leave that aside for a minute. And now we're going to go back to our main picture. So this is our main picture. And we'll stick on the rest afterwards. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use a, a light blue for the sky. So we just get our light blue. We just cover the sky in the light blue. And we just, we'll do it to about that here. Okay. So we'll go all light blue at first. And so if you have any suggestions of anything you'd like to do, Please show me it's a bit of green and then I'll just get some clean blue out. It's a nice fresh light blue. Here we go. So just a nice little all the way across there. Now, there we go. One there across here. And we bring it across, just the light blue, the whole way across like that. And now I'm going to get some light green. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get some yellow on my green. So get my nice green, my green is light anyway. But I'm going to add some yellow to it. And I'm going to dot it across, just bring it across, not dot it, just bring it across like that. 
And sometimes you dip from one, do you remember we did this before? We dip from one color into the next and we didn't actually mix them too much. So sometimes you've got more yellow on your brush. Sometimes you've got more green on your brush. See, there's two colors on the brush at the same time and it just gives it a nice effect. Now you can go down to about, when we'll, we'll be sticking the other one on top. So we just go down to about, um, down to about here, I'd say. Now, if you see in the background, you can see my dog. Where is he gone? Oh, he's there. He's wandering in and out of the cabin here where I'm working. Freddy. He's gone out again. Now, there we go. So I'm just going to bring it down to here because we don't we don't need anything in that part because we're going to um we're going to be putting our little flowers on top. So it's just yellow and green. Dab it like that. Just go across like that. Yellow green, yellow green. And we just get different colors and now i'm going to have it look like as if there's bluebells in the forest so we'll put in the trees in a minute don't worry we have the trees in a minute but i want to have so i have a purple here and i'm going to mix a little bit of a bluey color with it and a bit of white so i want to get a blue and a purple because sometimes they've got a kind of you look at the bluebells they've kind of got a slightly purpley color so a bit of purple and a bit of my blue and white together and i'm just going to dab them across like that so it's little dabs imagine little lots of little dabs lots of little dabs across dab 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 i often do this even when when i'm doing my my um my big paintings i do i dab, do a lot of what called dabbing and it just gives it makes it look like it's got flowers from a distance and we've just had all down here we've had loads where we live in the forests um we've had loads of bluebells and they're just dying off now but they're just absolutely beautiful Somewhere across the road as well. Just by the hedge and that look they look lovely too. So just dab them along like that. And it's like a little carpet of flowers you see in the in the just like a carpet of flowers. We'll put some darker ones in a minute too. So we just go across like that, okay? In and out like all oh, like that. Lots of little dabs, dab, 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 dab. And it doesn't matter sometimes it's a bit more purple. Because you look at them, sometimes you get them and sometimes they look more bluey when you're in the forest. And lots of that. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to add our trees in. So I'm going to get a brush. Let's see, a middling. No brush, maybe. It's hard to find me brush now. Where's my brush gone? Maybe it's a slightly narrower brush. Okay. So we're just going to get brown. Okay. And I'm going to get some nice... We're going to make, and you don't have to do the same amount of trees as I do. It's a line, and we can put another one up like that. And there's another bigger one maybe here. I'm not doing the same as before. I'm just doing different ones. See, like that. I'm going to put another, maybe a big one. We'll put a big one down here. Big white one. So like Y shapes. And you can draw, you know, you can draw these with your paint. Because, and you can do different shapes and you can put another little bit off it like that. Look, so you could have a Y and you could take another branch on it. So you could put lots of little branches, you see? You can have fun doing the branches. You can make them up the way you want to make them up. And they don't have to be too straight. They could be, oh, look, a big lump of brown went on there. No, I'll make that into something in a minute. That'll be part of my shadow, so don't worry about that. Okay, and I'm going to put another one here, like that. That's a fat one. I'll put a little branch coming out like that. So you do lots of little branches, look, coming all different ways. And we'll put another one, we'll put another big one here at the edge. We might let it go right to the edge because it could be one that's really up close to us. In fact, we might bring that weight down here. So right down to the bottom. Just make that more definite. I can come all the way and we might make that branch a bit thicker then. Like that. We let it end up because we're going to have our, our, our we're going to have our flowers in front. So now I'm going to put. Do you see the the distance and do you see the purpley ones? And that's the reason I put them in. Is it makes. So remember we had our purple color. We put a bit of white into that. So we get our white and our purple and very light purpley shade, and we make some. They're almost like ghost trees. And they're much skinnier. So if you've got a skinny brush. Or if you had crayons, you could use a light color and do it really light. And you just put them in behind it. They crawl, they do, they're in behind the other trees. And you don't have to you know, put a few of them together. You put a couple of them together like that. And they don't come down as far. You see, they're much further back. You see, look. 
they're not as far down they only go to here they don't come down here because it's because they're further back and it just makes them look like they're in the distance you see that they're further back and they're off in the distance and now what i want to do is i want to put a shadow on the tree does anyone remember how we made our shadow color well we made it with dark blue and the brown so we have our dark blue there and we get our bit of our brown and we mix that and we get a really dark color when you mix dark brown and blue and we're going to come down the right left hand side of each tree and that makes us a nice kind of a, a shadow see take your time i'm doing this fast remember you can always come back and look at this at any time so that you're, if you're stuck at any stage just come back and have a look another one like that and then we're going to come down all the way down there We'll come down like that. So it's the dark brown and the blue all the way. And see the way now all of a sudden you get that look. It looks like shadow on the trees. Do you see that? Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to put a little shadow behind the trees. Because remember the trees is going to be the sun shining over this side. So all the shadows are going to go to this side here on the left hand side. So I'm going to get a bit of my dark blue. Just a bit of my dark blue like that and remember how most of them have flowers behind it so just do a dab like that look just each side look only on the left hand side now only that's the left this side of the tree don't forget because the sun is on the other side so and you can even do a few on this one here and they can go in between each other like that look a few ones on the distant dark back ones as well they're little dabbies that's like that and then come out the other side of the other tree too, look, go out the other side. And there we have our, we have our kind of like our background, you see. Now we're going to put our leaves on. So we're going to put, how do you put the leaves? So we're going to put, um, I put the leaves on top. So we're going to come really nice and definite with our yellow and our green. And we're just going to dab it on top. So make it nice and, nice and strong. And I'm making it nice and thick, this paint. So I'm not hardly using any water on it at all. I'm just going to make it really nice and strong colors on this. And I'm just going to literally dab it, dab it, dab it. There's lots of dabs going on here. So boys and girls, remember, if you have any suggestions, please let me know. And I'll put them in the jar. Okay, so we're just going to dab it along here, like that. All the way along. It's like sunny day, like it is here, though we're meant to have a windy night, I think, and a bit of rain. So get out of the sun in your garden, if you can now. If you have there, if you have anywhere to get out at all, just get out for a little while. Now, there we go. A little bit of, a little bit of yellow and green across here. And you can let some of it come down further, like in this one. Because this is near the camera, like it's like imagine if you're sitting in the forest taking a photograph. This is much nearer. And we can put little bits of the dark with the brown and the into it as well. So you can make some darker bits of leaves there, look. So put a bit of green dark or brown into your green and put little bits of dark bits, because sometimes it's a bit darker with shadow bits in it. So we have shadows in the trees too, you see, on the leaves. So little shadows of the green and the brown like that, look. Just lots of little dabbles of green and brown together and then what you can do is you can come back with our yellow just come back with the yellow i have some nice light bits coming in look and just makes it nice and light and and airy then see like that now now I'm going to put, you can put little bits of yellow even in the flowers here. You can put little yellow dips, dips, dabs of flowers through the forest. Because these are in the distance. You won't see these too well. But you can put little, little flickies bits to the flower. Just little nice little bits. Just gives a nice little difference to it. Now we're going to come back to our first page that we'll be using. Remember the first page? Hi Terry, how are you? Uh, this is the, just, we're on the, this bit here. And we're going to go and do our details on it. So now what we're going to do is get our pencil and remember we said this is going to be a dandelion. So we're going to 
Really good. I want to make this jaggy. Actually, make this a bit jaggy here. This leaf can go jaggy. I know we say jaggy up and down, in and out like that. Look. And then we can put our... Now, when I do a dandelion, I do it sort of like almost... Look, that's a little spiky bits like that. And you just keep your way, working your way around because there's lots of little tiny little petals on a, on a dandelion. So it's like... And it all goes back into the middle. Like that. See? And I'm going to do the same with this one. So we take our jaggy leaves like that. Jaggy leaf like that. See? Like that there. And then we're going to come with our little ziggy zag bits all around the middle like that. And we bring it all the way down like that. And I guess it makes it look like that dandelions have loads and loads of little leaves on them. And that's why you do your lines really light because you won't really see your lines too much with mine you will. See? And then we're going to put our tulips. So we're going to just put them around like that. It gives you that U shape. I'll put two lines like that. One, one. And we do another line like that. And you see now you have that shadow that we did earlier on, a little shadow in the middle. And then we can just outline our outline our um our leaves and our stem like that and we do the same oops we do the same with this one here we just do our stem and our leaves now i'm going to just go around that means we can actually put little dots in the middle of the of the um center of the flower and then we get those little dotty bits in the middle of the flower and then we'll loop around like that one two three four five and we just divide this one up like that so there we go and now you see the way you have that little shadow in there it makes it look like this is a shadow and that it's coming out from the the if that's a shadow near the center of the flower and all you have to do now is you have to cut it out so i'm not really going to i'll just cut this kind of round because It'll give you the impression. Then we have to go up and down. This is the, probably the hardest bit is going up and down here. Depends on how many blades of grass you get. Just zigzag, zigzag up and down. There, that bit. Up, down. That's the slowest bit. I'm just going to put it aside then for a minute because what I want to do is we want to finish off the last bit of the other one as well. Hello, Margaret. Hi, Mary. Um, now, here we go. Up and down like that. Here we go. There we go like that. And then you come up and down like that. Like that. And like that. And I just get this out of my hand. Straighten up those little blades of grass a bit. And just leave that for a second because we want to come back to our original one now and we're going to go around with our pencil like we usually do i'm just going to outline so we can do along the edges of the, of the grass now this mine is a bit wet at the moment so it probably won't be easy to do because mine is quite thick paint so don't rush this bit wait till it dries first so i'm just you know what to, i'm sure a lot of you know what to do at this stage just kind of going in and out like that and you can see what i did up on the top one so it's kind of giving it like a little like a little edge on the flower on on the leaves i mean like that just along like that there. And I said this mine is very, very wet here at the moment. As I put the paint on really thick, which you meant which I asked you to do. But just wait till it actually um wait till it dries a little bit better. And then I'm gonna come down the edges of the of the of the trees as well. And you can put little squiggy bits underneath like as if it's grass as well. Just go around your trees. Don't bother going around the back ones. Remember the purple ones we did? Leave them really light. It's only the it's only the the brown the, the brown ones as well, the the, the nearer ones. Because the other ones are almost, and you almost don't see them nearly in the distance. And you can also, when you forget, if you have, a, you can use a black marker for this, or as I say, black. I'm using a very dark pencil crayon, but I could use a black marker would be quite good, or even a very dark pencil. That's very, 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 very um, wet. This one is. So it's very hard to do it. So you know what I'm saying now. Just go all of them, all the way down there. The other thing you can do as well is add extra little, extra little branches. 
we have a dark pencil after so so you can use lots of little little branches out of the trees just little tiny little twiggy ones that you hardly see normally like that and you can do lots of little ones i did them up here you see like that it just adds to it, just makes it look nice, it makes it look like a real foresty look with lots of little. Now, it's a bit wet as they mine, so you'd have to wait till it dries a bit better. Now, the last bit really to do is just get your glue and cut. Uh, what I did is I just I just um glued the bottom bit, I didn't actually glue the top bit because I wanted to keep it. See if there's any glue, there is glue in it, just have to get ah, there we go, put it down, place it doesn't flow into it. So just literally do the very bottom, say halfway up. And the reason is because when you stick it on like that, I want it to kind of come out. Because when it comes out from the page, it gives it, it looks like a sort of 3D look. So it gives it that look like there's a, this is in the front and that the forest is all behind. So it gives it a nice, like a 3D look, I think anyway. So just don't, you don't have to glue the whole way up. Leave a little bit there. It'll still stick when you have enough glue on the bottom. And you see, mine's very wet there. Look, see, it's, I shouldn't have put my thumb there. So wait, wait, till you, wait till it dries before you do any of your black pencil on it, because it's, especially with the leaves, because I said to do that really thick paint. And also make sure that um, it's dry sort of before you actually start trying to glue it in, because you'll make big thumbprints like I just did there on my wet paint so just let it let it dry for a few minutes okay um okay so it's time now to choose what the next one is and say if you have any suggestions put them down and today is thursday so it'll be saturday at noon and we'll do let me see i've got something into the jar by the way i think i have one here and it's a bat there we go a bat so we're back to the animal kingdom again we've covered quite a lot of animals while so we're the turn of the bat let's not and there's lots of bats now coming out in summer's evenings we get lots of bats here and actually we did a story here where one day i was um what about three years ago maybe four years ago i was coming down the hall in in, in the house and i was coming into from the front hall into the long hall and it was dusk it was evening time and all of a sudden i saw what something fly by me really fast and sure enough, it was a little tiny bat and he went flying down the corridor. He went into my bedroom. I think I went a half an hour trying, trying to catch him to get him out. And he was the cutest little thing ever. So, um, but we got him out anyway in the end. Um, was, I can't see from... <laughs> no, he wasn't. He wasn't a child. He was an Irish bat. He was a little Irish bat. Um, there's quite a lot of bats in the trees here in the evening times, in the summer even. So, he, he was... that's it. And um, next time I'll see you on um yeah saturday so any suggestions please let me know and thanks so much for looking and hope you enjoy it and bye now Hello.